Hi guys, welcome to the Mom Edit YouTube channel. Today I am answering some reader questions because I did a tutorial on how to use my favorite GHD Platinum Plus One Inch Styler to straighten my hair and some of you guys were asking for a tutorial on how to use it to curl. So I used this one inch styler to get the look that I've got going on today. Um, I would say it's like wavy, beach waves maybe, just kind of tousled. It's not like super curly, but you can use the straight or the um, styler to do even curlier curls. Okay, so I start with sectioning my hair. I just take the top part here. And I start with like a pretty big bottom chunk. Clip this up. And this bottom part, I mean, I'm not too thorough with it because you can't see it anyway underneath the top layers. The first thing you wanna do when you use heat um, to style your hair is to use some sort of heat protectant spray. My favorite is this Living Proof um, No Frizz Humidity Shield. And I just kind of shoot it in my hair. And then take a brush and I make sure like all the hair is facing the same way. And then I typically start right about here. So you take a section, you take the um, straightener, and you put it between, and you kind of, it's like curling a ribbon. So you basically take a section of hair, you clamp the styler over it, and then you twist. And how much you twist, determines how curly the curl is. So, um, I'm just gonna show you a little twist. You just run it down the length, and that's just like a little bit of a curl. And then if you want more of an intense curl, you get a section. Okay, so if you wanted to see more of a curl, then you have to bend it even more. So now I have it kind of And that is more of a curl. So it does take a little bit of um, a learning curve. For example, like sometimes I'll show you what I what I continued to do wrong for a long time. I would curl, and then I wouldn't like this. I wouldn't follow it through, follow the ends through, if that makes sense. So instead of curling, it's just kind of like want straight weird. This side I go away from my face and this side um, I have to use it like that. <laughs> that makes sense. Let me show you. Because otherwise it doesn't turn out right. So I use the opposite side, put the hair in, twist it, and then I make sure those ends follow through the whole time. And then there's your curl. And so you're not supposed to touch the curl right after you curl it because that will mess with um, with the finish. Like if you start playing with it and pulling it, that might take the curl out. But that might be a good thing if you find that you've done too tight of a curl, you can just kind of like pull on it a little bit and that will help it to relax. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue to do my hair. Okay, so when I have um, the basic like bends and um, waves and curls in the bottom section, I release the top part of the hair and then I just take the very, very top and section that off. So I basically do this in like three big sections. Um, and I pay a little bit more attention to the top part because that's the part that everybody sees. Heat spray. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and then you do the same thing. Take a section, styler, clamp it, and twist. You wanna make sure those ends go through the whole way. once in a while you'll get like a wonky one and then you can either section it smaller or you can just turn this turn the styler a little bit more to make sure that you're getting the ends and so then I just make sure that it looks like how I want it to look in general around my head on this side. And I kind of like how you can leave the ends so they're like a little bit straighter. And see, that's a dud. I'll just have to do that one over. That happens. Don't worry about it. But sometimes it's kind of fun for tech, like just to have like different textures. They don't have to all be uniform and perfect. That's kind of the goal is to have just like a bunch of different um, texture in your hair. Okay, so down to the woo, hi. <laughs> down to the last section up on top. And this is the one that like I'm I'm pretty like haphazard for the bottom layers because like I said the top layer kind of covers it. But I am a little bit more careful with the top um, with the top section. So UV spray, UV slash heat spray. So I typically try to start backed and work my way towards the front because the front is, um, you know, the part that you see all the time. So if I start back here, hi honey, you want to say hi? Hi. Come here. Hi. <laughs> Mom's doing hair. So you basically want to make sure that the ends are actually running through that that um, twist. If the ends don't go through that, then you'll get then you'll get one of those like weird wonky straight ones. So kind of a li little bit of a bend, not like a huge curl. Although if I wanted it curlier, I would just have to um, turn the styler even more. And so that one's a little bit curlier because I turned this, the styler even more at, of an angle. So I take it, still go around when I'm doing the opposite side of my head. And sometimes I, I don't I don't like pull it, but I try to shape it um, while it's still hot to kind of help seal that pattern in. So let me show you a better. So I'm twisting, twisting, twisting. And then when it comes out like that, I just kind of run my fingers over it and, and twirl it. Um, and, then, and then I don't touch it. 
but when the curl is still hot, it's kind of still ma malleable. So you can kind of like play with it without making it frizz up when it's still really hot. And then the very front pieces, I just kind of like just, just barely touch because I still have like hair that's breakage and I don't want to overdo it, um, especially with heat. So I just like, um, just add a little bit of a bend, not, not like a ton. And then, so the back, I bust out a mirror and I like look at the back of my head and I just like, I mean, I haven't looked, but I just kind of pull a top couple of pieces brush them through and I'm not even looking but I know that if I add a couple like good like layers on top good um, layers of curls on top then it will just kind of blend in with the bottom okay so at the very end um, after I've let everything cool I finish with a dry texture spray and I I love Orbe's but recently I've discovered um, Moroccan oil dry texture spray and this one I think I like even better it is just it's awesome um so I shake and I just spray just a little bit it smells so good and I just kind of like I don't scrunch but I kind of tossle that yeah tossle and it adds just like a little a um, bit more separation and a little bit of um, volume. So if you have like later on throughout the day, if it gets a little bit frizzy or if you want a little bit more definition or separation, instead of like scrunching, which tends to make things even frizzier, if you take like a curl that you want um, a little bit more defined, like let's just say, take this one. I just go with my finger and then see how it like pieces it out a little bit more. So instead of, um, and it also kind of helps to like smooth, smooth the curls without like turning into a giant mess of frizz. So um, I guess that's not only a secret, but that's my, that's the way I do um, when I need to kind of like get, get some of the frizz out. I just use my um, fingers and kind of piece out the different, um, the different curls that way.